Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage. This may be on another channel because this is really unrelated to the garage. But today I'm heading off on a seven day trip with my family in the RV. We're going around Lake Michigan for a fun filled trip. Um, I'm all packed up and ready. We're just having a last little snack before we hit the road. But before we jump in, I just want to show you my setup. So right here is a 2020 Ford Expedition with the FX4 package. Uh, I've also put a 3-2 lift on here. I put bigger tires on here. I put some sumo springs in the back to help with the, the tongue weight of the trailer. Inside, I have uh, a pretty nice setup, I would uh, I guess. <laughs> My Garmin inReach, obviously I don't need that per se, but normally when we're going on camping trips, we don't have any service. The wireless uh, winch remote, again, don't really need that now, but it's just fun to have it up there. I have an iPad with all of our uh, maps. I use an app called InRoute. And then down here is actually a monitor. I have four cameras around the camper. So I have this on so I can see everything around us when we are driving. Another addition I did to the expedition is I installed a 12,000 pound winch on the front because my ultimate goal is to head out west where we can go to Moab and go a bit off-roading. Let me jump over to the trailer and show you what I'm working with. So right here is a 2021 Micro Mini 2306. It's a narrow trailer, it's seven feet wide, which makes it perfect for off-roading, if you will. It's not really built for off-roading, but I did make it more off-roading capable. Well, it actually looks like we are ready to hit the road. So when we get our first camp spot, I will jump into everything about the Winnebago and uh, we'll catch up with you then. Let's hit the road. guys we are here we've been here for about uh, an hour and a half I guess we are in Muskegon Michigan and I think this park is called Lake Michigan State Park beautiful scenery I'll put some drone footage up of uh, where we are you're not supposed to park in this spot um, during the off season they only designate a couple spots but I'm already here and <laughs> as you can see I did dig holes so I don't want to try get unstuck right now and then get stuck again um, but luckily for me I do have a winch on the front of the, the car and if we are stuck I'll just strap to a tree there and I don't know if I want to try pull out without uh, the winch. I do have traction boards as well. But anyways, let's jump into going over a little bit about my camper. Here is a Micro Mini, a Winnebago Micro Mini 2306 BHS. It's a bunkhouse model. It's a Murphy bed up front. I'll do an interior tour another time. Let's go through the exterior. So starting in the front here, I use something called a shocker hitch. This is an airbag hitch. Uh, it stops the bouncy from the RV uh, going all the way into the SUV. Um, I do believe that helps quite a bit. 
I have two 30 pound propane tanks and then I have an inverted generator right there. Sorry, I just noticed my camera focuses on my hand. I'm gonna stop pointing. Um, on top of that, uh, the little blue box in the front there, I have a TPMS sensor so I can monitor all the, the air in the tires and then I have that quick jack stand. If you see under the frame here, there are additional supports and those supports I've put two extra 40 gallon uh, water tanks. Um, so on board here, we have about 120 gallons of water. So the camper is dry at 40, uh, 500 pounds and it has two 3,500 pound axles giving us about uh, 20, 20 odd hundred pounds of capacity. So I'm not overweight with the water. If you see on the top there, I have three solar panels. I keep my two spare tires up top. I do have a Wild Peak um, 83 all-terrain tires. Uh, the same tires on the SUV, I got them for the camper here. Now moving to the back, you'll notice I do not have a gray and black empty there. Yes, I do have a regular RV toilet. Um, I do not like composting toilets. But what I've done is I put a macerating system in. So what an macerating system is, is similar to like a, a, a yacht, right? So you have a whole black holding tank on a yacht. And if you're boating in the ocean, you can dump that black tank into the ocean. And what it is, it's just like a garbage disposal, a blender for everything that's in the black tank. And it goes straight into the ocean. So what I have is the regular black tank and then I have a macerating pump to pump out the black tank and the gray tank. That way I can also pump uphill. Um, I can also use a garden hose and I also don't have that whole big uh, apparatus hanging down below for these scenarios. Right now it would probably be touching the ground. So I replaced all of that. Now, if you see this little antenna here, that is a WeBoost cell phone booster. Obviously, my goal is to get it far away from uh, people with COVID, um, but I also want to be connected because, you know, I like YouTube. On the back here, I just recently bought that uh, Thule. Uh, I keep the kids' toys in there, a bicycle. Normally, I will have a motorcycle on there if I know I'm going off-roading where I have to uh, go inspect the trail before we go down there. I've got an extra eight gallons of gas and then I got some traction uh, mats which I might have to use to get out of this mess. In the back here as well, I also have a power cable. You can see that dangling there. That's for a rear winch. I keep the rear winch in there. So why do I need a rear winch? Well, same thing you need a front winch, except if I need to pull out backwards, um, if I get stuck in the front. And also if, uh, let's say I am sliding down an embankment a little or nervous about it, I have a winch that I can hook up. I don't ever intend to put myself in scenarios like that, but I just wanna be prepared. Another thing I've done is I've added full exterior cameras all the way around. It's great for towing. Um, I can see all corners as well as security when I'm boondocking. Um, there's a wireless monitor that records as well as uh, at night if I hear anything, it's next to my bed and I can see it. On top of that, because I keep my motorcycle back here, or this Thule, I installed extra uh, rear turn signals and brake lights, so everyone can definitely see if I'm stopping or turning. Now, nothing really crazy on this side, but one thing I did forget to mention, I put floodlights around the whole thing, and they're uh, switched inside so I can turn on the left, or the right, or the front, or the rear, or all of them together or all of them at once. Uh, you can see my dog there, chilling, taking a nap. He doesn't mind the car, but he doesn't particularly like the car. So after these drives, he doesn't sleep in the car when we're driving. So if we drive for 25 hours, he doesn't sleep at all. So now he is puckered out. <laughs> Camera shy. So that's a little bit about uh, the RV. I can jump into tech specs later. But now it's dinner time and I'll check back with you guys in the morning.